Okay, so this is the new Asus GPU Tweak 3 and it seems to be a little bit more user-friendly bringing the clocks together with the slides in the same uh, in the same screen but the real question is if uh, the settings that we're gonna input here uh, will be applied in the game because with the previous version I always had the, the feeling that MSI Afterburner was doing a, a better job and that was the reason why I'm using uh, the MSI uh, software um, instead of the Asus one. But let's hope uh, for the best with this one. And um, yeah, uh, for start, I'm going to apply 150 on the GPU core clock and 250 on the memories because this uh, these settings I know it should it should be working. And uh, the game that uh, I'm going to use for testing these settings is West uh, Watchdog Legion. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's go for it. First thing, power target should be maxed out, and the fan speed as well. Everything is. I'm going to apply this ones first. I want to hear the, the fans uh, ramping up and now I said 250 so 200 but it should have like a number somewhere or oh, don't so 250 well 251 with 150 I said There you go, apply and let's go in the game. Uh, let's check, quickly check the settings so we don't have any complaints about showing off exactly what we are using here. So 4K, max settings, whatever, whatever. DLSS is on balance, ray trace reflection is on ultra. Well, apparently the clock speed and the memory speeds are applied but uh, the first thing you'll notice is the power draw which apparently is not where it's supposed to uh, be a uh, reason why the fps is not uh, that great either i think you can uh, you can uh, reach this fps with the uh, standard settings or overclock settings uh, profile from gpu tweak so uh, let's try something else to so, let's say 175 and I'm gonna stay with 250 here but if it holds at 175 then I'm gonna increase the the mem the frequency for the for the memories but let's see if this one holds so for a short moment I thought that these settings will uh, will hold but uh, after a few minutes it did uh, crash so uh, we have to go uh, to scale back the clock core a little bit so there you go this is uh, this is the crash so I'm gonna try 160 and if not then I'm gonna stick with 150 and I'm gonna increase the memories so again, this uh, weird power draw, instead of almost 500 uh, watts, uh, we're getting only 390 something, almost 400, which is weird, especially for overclocking this uh, GPU. So there you go. This is the crash. Okay, so after a few instant uh, crashes, uh, I'm gonna stick with plus 150 on the core clock and I will try for the first time plus 300 megahertz on memories and see if this one holds. Okay, another example of weird behavior of the power draw not being where it's supposed to be, therefore not even the FPS is uh, not really there. So although uh, 300 megahertz on memories uh, sticks for a while, is definitely gonna gonna crash uh, soon and I just want to remind you that I'm not using any custom cooling solutions so uh, everything is stock so there you go this is the crash 
It's coming. It's coming. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so for the end part of, of this video, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between the um, OC mode in GPU Tweak 3 and the best working manual overclock uh, with this software. And I think the conclusion is pretty, pretty clear. Uh, MSI Afterburner remains uh, the first option when uh, you want to overclock your GPU, mainly because uh, now I noticed that we have a problem with uh, applying the power draw with this software and before that with GPU Tweak 2 we had a problem with applying the new frequencies either for the for the core clock or for the memory so uh, hard to believe that uh, Asus find a way to uh, draw uh, less uh, power when you overclock this monster so there's only one uh, only one conclusion that something is wrong with this version of this software as well um, it is it's true that this is only a beta version but um, this is something that uh, they can work on so let's hope that we're gonna see a better version of it in the end so thank you for watching and see you in the next one